Hey folks, welcome back to the Vegas Don channel here on YouTube and on TikTok. It is obviously raining like crazy here in Las Vegas on this Saturday afternoon as we head west on Stewart Avenue. It does tend to flood quite a bit here in town whenever it rains because the rain's got nowhere to go with the dry, hard ground. And uh, a lot of pooling of water, as you can see here. And just a reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over 1,000 subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok as well. Task there is a little more daunting, as we need to get up to about 10,000 followers there on TikTok. But all we can do is try. And more ponding of water. We do have these washes, but the water here tends not to be... It takes a while for it to travel down to where the washes are carried out to Lake Mead. And another thing about driving in Vegas when it rains is that uh, no one remembers how to drive when it is raining. So it always makes for an adventure. It's really ponding up here at Christie Lane and Stewart Avenue. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a uh, little drain hole up there on the side of the school. And there's another one here in a wall. And those are just pouring out. Gushing, actually. quickly ponded here. It just This just started and the rain did maybe 30 minutes ago. Thankfully it's not a school day. Don't have to worry about kids running around in this water. We got a big truck. It looks like a Chevy that's going to splash us right now. That was very cute of him to do. And just a reminder, if you like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we continue making more of these videos. We get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel, and use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. We're going to go ahead and get over here in the uh, passing lane. Stay out of the travel lane. The uh, rain continues to fall here in Las Vegas. This has the feel of a red cell of thunderstorms right above us. And there's the Chevy that just splashed everyone. Now sitting at a, I'm sorry, it was a Toyota, a Tundra. And he is now sitting at a red light. As we come up to the light here at Nellis Boulevard, I'll show you from around here, the uh, building there behind the Papa John's is actually a, uh, a Walmart. Not a neighborhood Walmart, but not a full-blown super Walmart. It's kind of a teenage Walmart. And the 7-Eleven over here we've taken video of before. And the lights are on some weird signal right now. On some sort of sequence because now the both turn lanes have green. After the opposite side had its green. Okay, and now Nellis is getting its turn. Also a reminder, we do cut these videos up into smaller portions called shorts. So if you're seeing this as a smaller part of a short, feel free to go check out our library. We do post the full versions of these videos up on our library on both TikTok. Well, on YouTube, not so much on TikTok because they only allow 10 minute videos. And uploading to TikTok can be somewhat problematic as I've discovered. In fact, anything over like two minutes tends to fail in its upload. You can see more of the flooding here, just outside. It looks like a lot of people over here on this side are taking advantage of getting over because they don't want to have to drive through that flooding there.
And it's just a gray out. Lots of rain. There was a 60% chance of rain today. So I think we can certainly bump that up to 100 now. Continue us here on Stewart Avenue in the rain, the driving rain. Say visibility's down to maybe a half mile. These monsoonal rains come once a year, and when they come, we know they're here. Approach the light here at Marion. And the street lights have not come on. This is reminiscent of the type of rain they used to get down in Florida, but they still do. driving on the turnpike in one of these storms between South Florida and Orlando. They would just pop up out of nowhere. Light here at Lamb Boulevard. Got some folks with their hazards on. get splashed by a truck to our right. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We get up to over a thousand subscribers, each of the monetize the channel, we can use that in a center center college, totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. Totally free to subscribe. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us as well. Everything is free. Like, follow, subscribe. As we encounter more floodwaters here on Stewart Avenue. In between Lamb Boulevard and the US 95 overpass up ahead about a half mile away. And Stewart is down to one lane up there at the overpass actually because of construction. So we're going to go ahead and get over here and make a left so that we can go over to Charleston Boulevard down Ronald Lane. This being a Saturday, this neighborhood would typically be full of bounce houses and birthday parties. But it looks like everyone's keep having to keep that indoors now. Encounter some rushing water here in the drainage in between the uh, grooves of the intersection. And it is just coming down. And we're going to make a right here onto Sunrise. Water here. A lot of folks trying to get into their cars at the present. And we're gonna make a left here on the Sacramento, but hopefully this one's not too flooded yet. Note to self, stay off side streets when it actually pours and digs. And we've got another little Russian drain here. As we approach the light here at Charleston Boulevard.
suburban that has the right of way and a um, little C class batteries. And I don't suppose this Audi is going to turn. But if memory serves, we should get a green anyway. For the west coast, west coast, westbound lane, to get their green light. Oh, Pollo Loco over there on the corner, and I'm totally wrong. The west coast, west coast, westbound lanes got their light first, but that's okay. not thinking these uh, rains will last very long, but the last couple of days they've just popped up out of nowhere and become just these huge storms. So it's hard to discern just how long each cell will last. Let's look over here, the house on the corner. And all this construction that is uh, tying up this interchange here at Charleston and 95 on the east end, east side of town. You can see some sunlight off in the distance there on the horizon. As we finally get the green, I now try to pass through these rains. Old pet boys over there that have been closed for a little while now. I'm not sure why. As we attempt to go northbound here on US 95, it should be an adventure in the rain. La Puerta Negra. Kitchen Bar and Gaming right here on the corner. Interchange. We're going to make our stop here. And we're going to proceed. A lot of homeless in this area, so there's probably a lot of debris here in the floods from uh, some of their encamp encampments. Have to be careful for glass bottles and things like that. So we attempt to merge onto US Highway 95 slash US Highway 93 slash Interstate 515 slash could be Interstate 11. It's multiple personalities. So you see folks up here with their hazards on. That's not, you're not supposed to do that, but it doesn't appear to be stopping them at first. As we Climb onto the elevated roadway portion of US Highway 95. We'll just call it US 95 for brevity's sake. Here on the east side of Interstate 15. Traveling about 30 miles an hour right now. Trying to stay out of the passing lane over there. I see a lot of ponding water. Roadway has been under construction now for a couple of years at least. This camper is attempting to get over because it looks like this is all flooded right here. We'll get behind him. And this is located here east of the uh, interchange with Eastern Avenue. 
west of the interchange with Charleston. And the puddle appears to be ponding all over the roadway, not just here in the median. You can see, perhaps see dirt and debris being washed away down the lanes here. Again, very peculiar because these, this is an elevated roadway. You see some of the apartments over there off to the right here. Downtown Las Vegas, Fremont Street, not downtown Charleston. That's uh, quite a ways away. And um, Cheeto's truck. I guess there's yeah, there's a lot of ponding over there on the on the side. As we pass the Cal and Main Street Station here, downtown Las Vegas. Climbing. Not sure why uh, the water's ponding. Should just be falling down. And humans are, of course, natural pack animals. So uh, when things like this happen, they all just bunch up together, and that's why you end up seeing, especially in snowstorms, those 50 and 60 plus car pileups. Just a whole bunch of cars driving together and the one person makes a, the slightest mistake and then uh, everyone, like dominoes, they all fall down as we go through the interchange here with Interstate 15. The access ramps don't appear to be backed up in any way. As we now move to the west side of Las Vegas. going to be exiting at Rampart. Exit from Rancho Drive there, U.S. Business Route 95. We're of course on U.S. Highway 95. Like most business routes in the country, it is a surface street. Come down to the nadir between these two bridges, just making sure there's no uh, pounding water down here. And just a quick reminder if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We 
can get up to over a thousand subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our Sunday college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok. Please like to follow us on TikTok as well. We need to get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok. A little more daunting a task because you can see the travel times there on the message board to each of the upcoming exits here along US Highway 95. Stretch of roadway not under construction. It appears to uh, handle the rains far better than those on the other side of, or the east side of Interstate 15. Looking at the HOV lane there, there's a legislator, or is it a uh, government official of some sort that's up in Carson City now who is adamantly opposed to the HOV lanes here in Las Vegas. Argument is that uh, no one really carpools because we're all so sprawled out all over the place. It'd be very rare if you actually went to work with the, someone that lived nearby. Most of the time we all live very far apart from one another. If we come up to the exit here at Jones Boulevard.
has been seen on this video since its beginning. So we come up to the light here at Durango Drive. Casinos going to be going to be up here on our right, Rampart Casino and uh, Suncoast Casino. They've held political rallies and uh, things of that nature at uh, both of them, I believe. Discontinue using windshield wipers because it's not raining anymore. Or at least intermittently. Looking out here, I'm not sure that the rains even came out here on Rampart. Certainly no ponding of water, no accumulations. 